Welcome back to the channel. Today's a little review video and it's gonna be on the Coach Madison. Thank you so much for stopping by. We love handbags on channels. We do reviews, hauls, comparisons. I upload two times a week. So if you guys like fashion, you love handbags, luxury, then please consider subscribing. Please stop by and say hi on Instagram. And let's just hop into today's review. Now, I know I've done other videos on this bag. I think I did one when I first purchased it in unboxing. I did another follow-up video of just like an overall review. And now I'm going to be doing, uh, how long have I had this bag? Is it six months, maybe one year review? I can't remember exactly when I picked this bag up, but I do want to do like a review now that I've had the bag for a while and give you my thoughts. So just so you guys know, I like to do follow-up reviews and reviews can change, right? So you know when you first open a bag and you just are so in love because it's like that honeymoon stage? So you do your unboxing video and then you do like a six month, one year, and sometimes it changes. Sometimes it's for the better, sometimes for the worst. Um, and I have had a lot of questions about the Madison, what I think about it, if this is a good coach bag, the pros and cons now that I've had it for a while. So I just thought it made the most sense to pop on here and just do like a review now that I've had it in my collection for a little bit. Again, um, hopping right into it. This is a beautiful bag, right? It's, I bought this bag because the first impression when you actually go see this bag in person, I'm not kidding you, this bag, out of every single bag I own in my collection, I would say almost more so than my Chanel 19, this bag feels the best. Like you just want to like sleep on it. It honestly feels like a luxurious, beautiful pillow and you just want to snuggle up to it. It is that good. Um, but again, like I won't go into like too much of the same things. If you guys want to see the original review or a boxing I did, I'll drop it below. But it's a pretty simple bag, right? It is a bag, I would say, I wanna say this is about like 10 inches about, I'll drop the dimensions below, but I loved it because there is a back pocket, magnetic, very similar to 19. Oh, I also did a comparison between this and the 19 too. I will also drop that below. Turn lock, matte CC that goes along with this beautiful chalk color. It's like a creamy kind of white. Leather up here as well brass hardware it has coach over here the chain is even better than my 19 i love this like chanel like chain but very very well made and i love this one because it had this front pocket and it's magnetic so super easy to get in and out of and i love the fact that i mean overall it's just like a really classic bag in my opinion and i do I, so I thought the chain was a little too long. You guys know I like to wear my bags a little bit higher up. So I did put in this little shortener just to make a little top handle and create like a crossbody because I don't like shoulder bags unless they're like really like small, I guess. I don't like like the, you know, the YSL Lulu, I'm not a huge fan of wearing that shoulder. Like I would get that only to wear a crossbody, which I think it looks a little weird. And that's why I haven't picked the YSL Lulu bag up anytime soon for that reason. But yeah, I do think overall aesthetically such an amazing bag, probably one of Coach's best designs in my opinion. So I used this bag yesterday. I switched out of it right now. I'm using my Dior saddle at the moment, but I did use this bag yesterday. Um, and the Dior saddle doesn't fit that much. I literally just have like my wallet in there. But I wanna show you guys what I realistically carry in here uh, from a day to day. And then I wanna just go with go through like the pros and cons. Might be different than my last review because I wanted to state like the things I love and don't love about it. But again, I have a compact in here. I have my key ring holder, the Prada one. I have... You guys know I love my eye cream. Always gotta carry around sanitizer, band-aids. I love to carry my sunscreen as a touch-up because we know it's important to have sunscreen. Lip gloss. I carry my gift cards in this Ana Luisa pouch. Just have my lotion for my hands. 
love having my AirPods. And then this back pocket, usually I put like my smaller items, like my chapstick and things like that. Sometimes my card wallet. And I don't have anything up front at the moment, but usually up here, I like to put my card wallet or some sort of wallet. So it doesn't, depending on which wallet I'm using, so it doesn't scratch against my other items. I put my keys usually in front here and I usually put my phone back here for easy access. So really love the overall, like again, aesthetics of the bag. Um, and that is exactly what I would carry. Now, I'm just gonna go through my thoughts now that I've used this bag. So pros, obviously, like I mentioned, the quality is amazing for the price. It honestly is such a good bag. Um, I haven't used this bag too many times just because you guys know I like to rotate, but I don't baby this bag at all when I do use it. And it's in, I would say, perfect condition. I don't see one scratch. I don't see one indent. When I say perfect, this looks like it just came out of the coach store. It is that good. Um, and again, the inside is micro suede, just so you know. So it's a very, very nice buttery feel to it. Um, I would say another pro to this bag is a back pocket that's magnetic. It's not just a back pocket. It's a magnetic back pocket and it's very substantial. Do you see that? I love how I can just drop my phone in. And I will say like, this bag is heavier just because it is like a full luxurious leather bag, but it's not too bad even with your stuff in it. It's not like the worst. It's still like pretty good. So I would say those are my pros on the bag. Okay, let's talk about the cons. And again, everyone has like a different taste and different style, different kind of um, reaction to certain things. Now for me, I think the biggest con for me is I, you guys know, I love smaller bags. My favorite types of bags are big or small bags that pack a punch. So I've done other videos. I can't remember top of my head, but, um, a lot of like smaller bags I own, they actually fit like a very decent amount. Um, but yet yeah, they're cute and like dainty. So this one is a good size. This is what I would consider more of a medium size bag. Um, but I'll give you an example. This bag almost fits as much as my mini Jody. So if you guys, I will show you a comparison later, but the mini Jody actually doesn't fit that much. If you want to stuff it to the brim, obviously it fits probably the same amount as this one. If you were to just not stuff it, just put regular things in it. Um, so for a bag of medium size, I would imagine it would fit more, but for some reason, this one doesn't fit as much as I think. So the stuff I showed you, you would think like, yes, that's actually a lot of stuff and that's true, but it does look pretty like bulky, right? So I'll, let's pretend this is my wallet. I'll put it up front here. I'll drop all my stuff back in so you guys can really get like a good sense of what that is. So you can see it's not like as roomy as you think, right? So it does close and there's no issues, but I would just think it would fit a little bit like there'll be more like extra space left. So it's not so cramped in here because of this front pocket, it makes the middle part a lot more narrow and that is okay, but it's just something that you would expect the bag to fit more. And it's okay because I don't carry that much. But if you are a person that wants to carry every little thing with them, this bag will bulge out a little bit, right? And you have to take into consideration, I don't have my phone in here. If I had my phone and I have my actual like wallet up front, you will get this part to a little stick out and it just feel a little bit more bulky. So that's my only thing. And I do feel like because I like to wear this crossbody, if this bag is heavy, this part does like go into your shoulders a little bit. It doesn't really bother me as long as I'm wearing like a shirt, but I have worn this bag like during the summertime, um, if I'm wearing like a tank top and the chain, if you're walking around for hours, you can't feel it. But if you're just making an errand and stuff, it actually doesn't, it's not that bad. But if you're commuting with this bag, it can get a little like dig into your shoulders. But I don't think Coach designed it 
for a crossbody. I think it's more meant to be a shoulder bag. And because I don't wear it like that, I don't really know. But I just wanted to call it out if you're like me and you just love a good crossbody. This might dig in a little bit. But all in all, I still think overall, this is a very nicely made bag. So if you were to ask me, would you purchase this bag again? Here's my answer. I think this bag for the quality, it is amazing. And I think it's worth every penny. I really do, especially if you watch reviews and you know exactly what you're getting. It's totally worth it, right? Especially when you're looking at this in comparison to like fashion houses like YSL and stuff, you're getting, I would honestly say, a same quality of item, but for a lot less. You're just not getting the name, right? We're paying for the name. We all know that, right? Especially in the luxury world. Um, but yeah, this is one of Coach's best bags. Now, would I get this bag again? Yes and no. Like I would get this bag again in the mini size because the mini size doesn't have this pocket. I don't think I need it. Like I purchased this bag because of this pocket. And now that I've used it, I realize I don't need it. I'd rather have this space be a little bigger. So I pick up this bag almost in the exact same color or maybe like, I don't know what their new colors are in the smaller size. So I could wear crossbody because that size is more meant for crossbody. I think I would just swap it out. So that is my thing. But I do think if you like bigger bags, you want something that is more like of a cloud medium size, like look like this. Yes, get yourself a Madison. It is totally worth it. Now, my thing is, I think I want to go back and just get like this. Like I said, the smaller size, it just makes more sense for what I personally like, my aesthetics and what I would use. I don't grab this bag that much because of the bulkiness of it. I'm just not used to it. You guys know most of the big bags I pick up, I end up letting go of. <laughs> and I end up just using my smaller bags. I just need to learn my lesson. Um, so with that said, I'm considering letting this bag go. I know that they, I believe, still have this in the coach shops. I don't actually know. I actually don't know if I, um, if they raise the price on this one or not. I am not 100% sure, but I will let this one go for a really good price. Um, like I said, it's in pristine, almost like new condition. I don't see any flaws on here. I can include the full set with box, bag. I mean, literally like ribbon, every, anything you need because I believe I have everything. I keep all my items. So I think I have it all stored away in my closet. So if you guys are looking for Coach Madison, um, this is something that I will be letting go of and I will give you the full package for that. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested. I still think it's a great bag, but I definitely want to use this and just get the smaller one. And yeah, that is pretty much it. But you guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me, feel free to send me an email. Um, but yeah, that is it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.